whole new start to another whole nothing. We just open the book again and start the pack. It's just the best. The folks, these are, I've been doing this a long time. I was in healthcare for many, many, many years. We're in hospice agencies, nursing stuff, whatever. It was almost embarrassed that I'd done that for many years and never knew AFLAC existed. A third family member of uh, mine got cancer. I had a friend of mine who was an AFLAC rep. Said, how come you never told me about all this stuff? Because he knew me when my dad passed from cancer. And, and he said, well, you know, you're my friend. And, like, I felt funny, like, talking about a cancer plan. Talking about a cancer plan. You know, I felt funny, like, talking about a cancer plan. So I, like, wanted to kill him at that moment, you know. Because he knew my dad. Why wouldn't that be the time you tell me? Even if I can't help my dad, like, how about helping me? What if I get cancer, right? So I said, Dave. You know, I need to talk to whoever about this because it's just, I've been in healthcare forever. I, it just cannot be this good. It's just impossible. It just can't be, act like just can't be this good. And, and nobody knew the name like we know it today. Just, there's just no way it can be this good. I'm smart. You know, I've been in healthcare. I know all this. I just, it, there's no insurance plan that could exist and do this. Nine months later, I gave up my job, and that's what I've done since. It's because it is the best. There's nothing that you as a person can do for someone else who you have no relationship, no connection to whatever, that you could ever do more to help them and their family for whenever the what if becomes the what is, you're going to be like the man or the woman because you're going to do things for them that nobody else could do. You're going to give them life. That's what we do. We accept as one of our accounts and I come to the corporate office. So usually when I go there, I have the Netflix shirt on because I sometimes just, I can't go roam the whole corporate building, but I walk in the uh, ele elevators and the lobby, you know, the concourse and whatever, and people, you know, see the Netflix shirt and they go, you, you, you're the Netflix guy, right? Oh, yeah, I do, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right. I don't make believe one. They don't really know I have my shirt on. They so, well, like, what do you, what do you do for Netflix? Four words. I give people money. Everybody goes, well, what, do you, what do you mean you give people money? That's when I go, call me. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I can't do it on the elevator, I can't do it live. Right? Call me and come see me for 10 minutes and I go, I'll show you how I give people money. And thousands of separate people have athletic. Talk about benefits. People say, oh, benefits are, are so good. We don't need athletic. Do you think SEPTA benefits aren't great? They are awesome. We all wish we had SEPTA benefits. Thousands, thousands of SEPTA people have our outlaw plans. Thousands of them. I had a, a Verizon person in my office the other day. And we got to talk about AFLAC and because he saw my ducks and whatever. He goes, oh, a good friend of mine. He, you know, rotator cough, this, whatever. Said AFLAC, if you didn't have AFLAC, it'd be like, I said, so you guys, do you guys have AFLAC through Verizon? I know they don't. You know, Comcast has Verizon, has mm -hmm. us, right? But not Verizon, right? right? So I said, listen, you know, if you guys have like meetings, I'll come to a meeting, and even though you can't get disability, whatever, but we can sell four plans. You all know we can sell four plans direct, or actually life insurance we can sell direct too, but mm -hmm. accident, cancer, critical care, and um, dental. Those four plans you can sell direct. So I said, listen, you know, could you see if you could get, well, allow me to come to one of your meetings and, you know, give me 30 minutes so I can show people how this works. And we had had a pretty lengthy conversation about where it fits. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. So unfortunately, he had to actually come back to my office because something on the phone didn't work a few days later. So the same guy happened to come back. And he goes, oh, I talked to my union guy. And he said, our, our, our benefits are so good, we don't need AFLAC. I said, well, let me ask you, you, ha you know your benefits, and you heard the AFLAC conversation. If I came to you, would you buy this directly? Oh, yeah, no, I'd certainly think about it. I said, if you can get, get the union person to allow me to come to that meeting without anything being through the union, so that, the, you know, 30, 40, 50, however many people are at this meeting, will get to hear, and they can make their own choices, and they'll skin off the union's back, Maybe somebody would, would be willing to spend for an accident or a cancer or some other plan. Do you think you could re-ask, not involve the union in any way, which I hadn't planned on in the first place, just 
let me come and talk to the people and they get people educated about what it is so they can choose to help themselves and not help themselves. They don't want to do it, that's fine. So, and, and between Monday and Saturday, which is when I saw him the first time and the second time, he had already asked about something. So, generated enough interest for this person to go to his union person and ask the question already, could I come? Well, that's pretty impressive, I thought. So, that's why I went to the well again and said, listen, give me a chance and we'll see. Oh, yeah, well, then we have a regional meeting once a quarter where we get like 150 people. And I said, look, I'll start wherever you want. And we'll, you know, 30 minutes, that's all I need. Because in that 30 minutes, I'm only going to do talk about AFLAC as to what it does, you know, this side of the fence and this side of the fence. And accident and cancer, those are the only two plans I would talk about. The Verizon people who are climbing poles and doing this and sticking the arc in and doing whatever they're doing, right? Accident plan relates to every single one of those people. They work 47 hours a day, right? Are they getting hurt on the job all the time? Yes. How much are they paying out of pocket? Zero. How would you like to have all that money in your hand to help you with rent, mortgage, car payment, food, phone, tuition, lights, whatever? And everybody knows somebody has cancer. If I do a cancer presentation, how many people here know somebody who went through cancer? Everybody. So nobody can't not relate to it. And how about if I told you the first time somebody gets cancer, they're going to have four, six thousand, ten, twelve, I don't know, just to start, <clears throat> just for the diagnosis of the cancer. Radiation, chemotherapy, surgery, hospice, home care, prosthetic, reconstructive, immunotherapy, and whatever. We're going to pay for all of that. Non-taxable in your hand, do whatever you need to do. How, how do people logically say no to that? Even if they haven't had it. We had a discussion earlier with a couple of gentlemen. Yeah, I haven't had no cancer in the family. Still, one in two men and one in three women get cancer. Doesn't that mean I agree? I mean, I've had a couple of times when I've been in class where my test scores were probably like one in two, fifty percent. You know, even probably some thirty-three percent. I'm not really a great student, but if I'm one in two people getting cancer, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not really wanting to walk through that door of thinking I'm not going to be the person. That's not really not very good. This is definitely not a good plan if you come into that odds. Just not very good. So protect yourself and your family from the impact of that medical event. Buy a cancer plan. And for those that are older now, that cancer plan is so much less because it doesn't have an age factor now. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the younger people pay more, but those of us on the older side and sometimes really push people out of the ability to buy the plan because it costs too much. It costs a lot less than it used to. So do not be afraid to push that plan. Do not think it's too much. Because anybody who can relate to cancer, you can do the math. Remember that, you know, that $500 per year growth factor? Just do that in the math. I do the math all the time. I do visuals. So, all right, the plan is going to cost $486 a year, but if you get $500 for every year you're in the plan, how much does the plan cost? It's free. And it is free. The first time you ever have to use it. It's better than free, because you've got $75 or $100 for your screening. you got $500 for the other people that are covered under your plan. So if you have a spouse, you're also getting $500 built into their pot. So just the first time the first person uses it, they have 45. You're 75 years old now, 30 years later. The first check you ever get is going to be more money than you ever paid in premium. Think about this car insurance analogy. If I came to you today and said, listen, I'm the, the gecko, out, flow, out, out, me. Here's my guarantee in my car insurance plan, and this is how the cancer and the, and the critical care plan works. I guarantee you, the first time you ever have to file a claim, because you've got cancer, you've got a heart attack, stroke, the first time ever, so imagine this is your car insurance saying, the first time you ever wreck your car, I'm going to give you all your premium back. All your premium that you ever paid, and more sometimes. I'm going to give you four, $6,000 bonus just because I like it, because you stayed. And I'm going to fix your car like it's new. I'm going to do all the repairs to fix your car. So all your premium back, four or $6,000 bonus, plus fix your car. That's an analogy exactly how the cancer and the critical care plans work. Exactly. How many people would buy that car insurance? 
Every single person would buy that car insurance. Now, it doesn't mean they're going to buy, but that's the value that's in that, those two plans. It can't cost you more ever if one time any of those things ever happen. It just can't because of the growth factor and all the other benefits that are in that plan to begin with, all the, the, the menu uh, item stuff is just so tremendous. So that's the tire and the wheel analogy. That's how all this stuff has to go together. Yeah, can people buy one plan and do one thing at a time? Whatever they do is all good, folks, by the way. Any plan is better than no plan. So sometimes, sometimes people come back, they talk about it, you give numbers, they go, oh man, like, and, and you know they got it. You know they understood about the value, whatever. They come back and they go, you know, like, I, I, I want to do every plan, but I can't afford every plan, so I think I'm going to wait for that. I hate that. Like, duh, what do you mean? They all make sense, but just because you can't buy them all, you don't want to buy any. So I challenged him. I said, so, well, wait a minute, so you just don't, you don't think it makes any sense? Oh, no, I think it makes <coughs> sense. So because you're afraid of picking the wrong plan, you don't want to cover everything. Does that really make sense? But I, but I can't, I know you can't afford everything. And, and, I, and, and what it is, they don't want to be wrong about the plan they pick, right? So here's what I do. I said, listen. And again, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, I don't want to be beating you over the head, but if you feel that important, I don't want to get a call from you a couple of months from now and say, you know, just on that I have cancer, so you know, can I now get that plan? Because I have to tell you no. I don't, I don't want to have to tell you that. But if you really can't decide, here's what I want you to do. <laughs> Whichever one lands closest to your left foot, that's the plan I want you to buy. <laughs> Accident. Pick, pick however you want to pick. Whatever, you know, scenario, however you want to figure out the way to like pick a card, any card. If it makes sense to you, this is my direct question, if it makes sense to you, but you can't do everything, start someplace. Don't, don't be disappointed and say, oh man, I wish I got that plan. I should have gotten that plan. Pick the one that you think is most likely to happen. You got four kids and you got a spouse, so that means you got five kids. Pick the accident plan. There's no way you're not going to use that plan. It's just not possible. I know. Pick, and that's going to be the cheapest plan, by the way, folks. Mm -hmm. Accident's going to be the cheapest plan and use the most. I love that plan. It's the best. So if that, then do that. And if somebody had a lot of kids, whatever, I'd probably say, you know what? Just this is the plan you need to pick. If each of you just once in a whole year, you got five people. If each of you just once in a whole year had an accident, sprained, twist your knee, whatever, that's Five times seven hundred, five times one hundred and twenty. That's what six hundred dollars. The plan only costs three hundred fifty dollars for the whole year. How much did the plan cost you for this year? Zero. You win. Get seven hundred. Spend three hundred. And that doesn't even count stitches, broken bones, X-rays, physical therapy, walkers, crutches, ambulance. None of that. Just go because you you know sprained your ankle. So don't let them say no so easily, because you won't be, if you do it the right way, you won't be pushy, you'll be concerned for them and their family so that they don't have to take the phone call. Make it like, I, mean, I hate those phone calls. I don't want you calling me two months from now and saying, oh, my son just got hurt at the football team. I can't, I can't help you now. My wife just went and got her pap, and, you know, got served with cancer. I can't help you. So don't let them say no so easily. And of course, part of this is trying to get them in. You know, if they come back after the meeting, PDA, waiver form, you've got to sign the waiver, so that's, you've got to get them.